Freedom should not be something you have to deserve. It is something you just naturally have. Something that no one can take away from you. Let's celebrate freedom. Good morning to all of you gathered here to celebrate this joyous occasion. I wish you all happy Independence Day. I, Arpita Sen Gupta from Department of Social Sciences and Communication, warmly welcome our esteemed principal, Mr. Matthew George, my wonderful colleagues and my lovely students to today's event, Sada Swatantra. As India completes 73 years of independence, we face harsh realities such as months of lockdown, fear of disease and death that have crippled the lives, livelihoods, health, and education of many millions across the world. Inadvertently, they raise the inevitable question about how free Indians really are. There is nothing quite like a pandemic to add a fresh perspective to the very concept of freedom in our lives. For there is also nothing quite like a pandemic to remind us that laughter is capable of being much more than just an expression of emotion and no face mask can stifle it. This virtual celebration stands as a concrete attestation of it. We at Mary's are a resilient bunch and we have learned that one of the best ways to survive is to stick together, virtually of course, we are together like never before. Without much further ado, we would now screen a short video of flag hoisting done in the morning by our beloved principal sir as a tribute to our motherland. Please take a glance at it. Now, I would like to call upon our respected principal, sir, a seasoned scholar and navigator of this flagship of knowledge to share his thoughts on this special day. Good morning, everyone. Happy 74th Independence Day to all of you. Uh, India at 73 is a, a, a splendid occasion for us to reflect. Uh, as you can see, today was an unusual day in St. Mary's College. We, we have even shifted the location of the flag hoisting it was raining since morning. And uh, I think uh, in the last few years, I don't remember a year like this where we have, we have, uh, we had to do with very few people for the Independence Day flag voice thing. But then that's how it is. And, uh, you know, I, I really like the theme of uh, today's virtual celebration that the Department of Communication chose. Uh, it says Sada Sondra, and I, I thought it was very, very appropriate. Uh, you are, free, I mean, either free always you are, or you are never free. Uh, if you are free sometimes and you're not free at other times, then that means somebody else is deciding when you are free. And that really means that you are not free at all in the first place. In the, in, in the, especially with uh, reference to Independence Day, we, we often uh, use independence and freedom interchangeably. But we live in, in, in an interdependent world. Uh, there is no one who can say that I am or you are truly independent. We are all interdependent and that's fine. But the point is that we are free to choose who you work with, who we, uh, or, you know, collaborate with and what we do with our freedom and, and also the freedom to choose the course of us as a society or freedom to choose the course of our nation. Uh, many a times we, we, we talk about rights along with duties, uh, but I feel that on Independence Day, it is important to talk about rights because there is, there is no way we can talk about freedom without rights. And freedom is, uh, you know, inseparably connected with the whole idea of rights and rights of human beings. And uh, a country is truly free when all its individuals, and I say all, it's all its individuals enjoy freedom and human rights. And that is fundamental to our idea. Uh, there is also a concept that gets intertwined often. That is the concept of self-rule, you see. The whole idea was that, okay, we got freedom from British rule. So it is like, okay, someone in London was ruling us, but today we get to decide who are rulers. But this whole idea of self-rule is again 
while it is connected, it is not the same as freedom. Freedom, again, I'm saying is more fundamentally connected with rights, irrespective of who is ruling over. And we could have elected our leaders, but if our elected leaders eventually turn out to be like monarchs, then the whole point is lost. You know, the government or our elected leadership is supposed to be public servants. The public is the master, the leadership is the, so that is the essence of democracy. That is the essence of the freedom that we talk about. The, uh, you know, uh, Jawaharlal Nehru's freedom at midnight speech is something which has been immortalized. And I, I, I like the, uh, you know, imagery of the midnight there because the whole idea is that there is a new dawn waiting. You know, there is, uh, you know, the worst is over and you're going to see the light at the end of darkness. And that is, that makes sense. But there is a danger with using the day and night imagery because it also tells you that the light of day could eventually give way to darkness. I mean, you see, that is a, there is a cyclical phenomenon and that is something that we need to be alert about. You see, uh, in the 1970s, those who experienced the emergency know that we could be a free country, but our freedoms can be taken away if it is not resistant. So resistance, and, I, you, and I, I'm happy to see, you know, down the... Uh, you know, when, when we look at the further program, I, I can see uh, some of those characters of the independence moving, movement being played or enacted by our people. And that includes Bhagat Singh, that includes others. But then those were all people who were willing to pay a price for what they thought was freedom, for what they thought was right. And they were willing to sacrifice their self-interest and fight for the right to dissent, the fight for the right to stand up and be counted. And if required for that, even give uh, pay a price with their lives for that. And that is, so the freedom that we have today is hard earned. It didn't just happen. Uh, it is hard earned. Some of them paid a huge price for it. And because of which we enjoy the freedom. So freedom is always costly and it needs to be protected. And these are times when we need to tell ourselves that what is supreme in this country is actually the constitution. You know, uh, people of different languages, different creeds, different color, different regions, different races came together to form what we today know as India. Uh, the only thing that we have in common, if you ask me, is that common heritage which was built during the independence struggle and those three years of debates that uh, you know, uh, that kind of finalized what kind of a country we ought to be during those, the, the era of the Constituent Assembly. What came out of that is the Constitution, and that actually is what holds us all together, and that is the source of our freedom. And we ought to defend it, and it is not something that happened by accident. It is a well thought through document, and what we enjoy today, the freedom that we are talking about, the Sodandra that we are talking about, follows from that. And I'm, uh, I, we ought to tell ourselves today that even the Supreme Court is supreme only in the sense that it is final and not because it is infallible. You know, ultimately in this country, the only thing that is sacrosanct is the constitution and the rights of human beings, rights of every citizen that is enshrined in that constitution. And that is the freedom for which we need to stand for. And that is something that I think worth reminding ourselves on this 74th Independence Day. I really hope and wish that we will always be independent and free and that we will use that freedom for the welfare and the well-being of every citizen of this country without discriminating whether it, it is in terms of language, creed, or by any, any other identity that we, we all have. Our identity, I hope, will be always that of human beings and being Indians and our unity and diversity ought to be celebrated on this 74th Independence Day. Happy Independence Day to all of you. Thank you for sharing those insightful words, sir. Without further delay, let's begin with the first program, India at 74. Today is the day to contemplate on how far we have come and how far we still have to go.
Along with multifarious struggles and triumphs, there is much more to thrive and much more to show. We have well-versed speakers who will now share their perspective on what 73 years of freedom signifies to them as we mark the 74th year of independence. I request our most admired and distinguished faculty member, Mr. Ebenezer, to share his opinion. Mr. Ebenezer, sir? Yes. I request our most admired faculty member, Mr. Ebenezer, to share his thoughts today. Good morning to you all and wishing you all a very happy Independence Day. Independence is freedom from the control and influence of others. The value of freedom is better understood by those who are oppressed and humiliated. So let us thank God for celebrating our independence. We have been independent for 73 years now. While remembering history and paying tributes to our freedom fighters. Let us now vow today to safeguard our freedom at all costs. We should neither take our freedom for granted nor be indifferent to it. And to safeguard our freedom, each one of us has to keep our eyes open and know what is happening around. No, I mean, we should have knowledge of what is happening around. As Swami Vivekananda rightly said, ignorance is death, knowledge is life. And we all also know that knowledge is power and knowledge liberates us. Therefore, as teachers and students, let us make all efforts to acquire as much knowledge about everything that we can so that we stand out. We all know that our freedom or that our fundamental rights are enshrined in our constitution. And let me also remind you that our fundamental, uh, that our constitution also tells us about our fundamental duties. And duties make us more responsible. And duties are those which we need to conscientiously follow, take up responsibilities. So as responsible citizens, let us not get carried away by the promoters of ignorance and the perpetrators of hatred. Let us exercise reason and not be blinded by prejudice. Let us resist exploitation and develop the spirit of questioning. These are a few of the things I thought I should share with you all. Today, let us join hands 
to make our country strong and proud. Thank you. Jai Hind. Thank you, sir, for those thoughtful words. Next, we have a super energetic president of student council, Mulli Krishna, from the outgoing batch of BA. Yeah. Hello, everyone. A very happy Independence Day to all of us. Being a political science enthusiast, my interest and observation has always been inclined towards India's strategic development. So in the 73 years of independence on many global occasions, India has been a non-aligned state, but few occasions India has taken stands depending on the national interest. But I feel this 74th Independence Day is very important for us. As many developing nations are looking for a new global leadership post this pandemic, I I feel India should spread its wings to fill the void. Being elected to the non-permanent seat of the United Nations Security Council during this tough time is an added advantage for India. The decisions taken in the United Nations till date were unilateral. They were in favor of very few dominant nations. But it's time for India to change the narrative from unilateralism to multilateralism. I feel India at United Nations should not just focus on self-interest, but should act as a representative of all the developing and underdeveloped nations across the globe. This may lead India to be called a new emerging global power. Also, India will inch more closer to the dream of becoming a permanent member at the UN. So lastly, marking the importance of this event, I would like to send in my best wishes to all the representatives of India at UN. All the very best. Thank you so much. And Jai Hind. Thank you, Mulli. Our next speaker is rather special as she is exclusively streaming live from Budapest, Hungary, where she is currently on a student exchange program. President of Vox Populi Club, I request Miss G.S. Gayatri from BA to share her perspective. Good morning, everyone, and a happy Independence Day to all of you. So when I thought about my perspective on independent India, I always go back to the social studies textbooks where I learned about the freedom fighters who made a lot of sacrifices to bring us here, uh, the struggle which we got, went through uh, to get the independence and now we are a free country. And I used to feel happy about it. It made me realize the importance of independence and to live on my own terms. But soon as I entered teenage, many brutalities of the world stood in front of me. We speak about fundamental rights, Yet so many suffer despite them existing. So many cannot avail proper education, proper health or proper security. But recently, the perspective began to change. It happened exactly six months ago. That is on February 15th when I flew here, that is in Budapest. And I started meeting many people who did not know much about India. So whenever they used to come and ask me, where are you from? I would be like, I'm from India and this is my culture. Uh, we have like different religions living together. And I used to explain them and they were always shocked that there's a country like this. You will be very shocked that many people don't even know what India actually is. They have a really different perspective. So explaining that was really fun. And I did presentations and uh, because of which many people got to know about our country. My professors were interested especially to know more about the country. So as I spoke more and more about our country, the love for it began to increase. I started respecting my own country. I started embracing the culture. I started talking about its ethnicity and its diverse culture. I thought I would lose this connection once I leave India, but somehow it grew, st it grew stronger. I cannot wait to come back to the country which has done so much for you. Thank you so much. That was a beautiful experience that you just shared with us. Thank you, Gayatri. I would like to call upon our dynamic faculty member, Ms. Kirti, to address the audience. Good morning, everyone. I wish you all a very happy Independence Day. Uh, okay, so what freedom mean to me? To think what I want and not to follow the herd thinking. To have independence is to think, act and say what I want. Unfortunately, women in India don't have much of this, but I'm proud to say that I am blessed with a great family and surrounded by a bunch of wonderful buddies that allow me to just be me. And that's the way I have grown. 
always had a clear mind and respect myself for that i have always followed my heart wherever it told me to go nevertheless the pandemic situation hasn't stopped us from celebrating this occasion this independence year we may see limited people gathered to celebrate while every year it was celebrated in huge crowds we indians have the same spirit as always but the one silver lining will be that i will not see people being disrespectful after the celebration is over it's really painful that i would collect those flags scattered around on the road street stride and the, which is actually disrespecting the freedom that we possess um, any freedom to an extreme will come with responsibility and risk my message to everybody is just keep on spreading a smile never stop learning be self sufficient and most importantly stay united be respectful towards your freedom vande matram jai hind thank you once again a very happy independence day wow ma'am those were very intriguing words we now have rasia tehreem from outgoing batch of ba good morning all I'm quite excited to be a part of this Independence Day celebration since I think this is the first time we are doing it on the virtual space. The pandemic hasn't dampened our spirits. India is a year away from its platinum jubilee celebrations. My country has tasted its own share of success and failures and always emerged stronger with every experience. Growing up as an Indian I was always proud of the fact that I belong to a wholesome country with diverse cultures religions and languages I am proud of the fact that our country has been given great titles like golden sparrow and granary of the world for being blessed with immense natural resources rich minerals and raw materials The education system of our country has been continuously in the process of reinventing itself to meet the challenges and stay relevant with the world i'm extremely fortunate that i belong to an education system that produces thousands of top doctors it professionals and engineers annually and their expertise is much sought after across the world the minorities of indian society stand as a testimony to the efforts of inclusiveness and as a part of nation political empowerment I'm also proud of the dignity of labor, the freedom of press and the respect for human rights that stand as shining armor of Indian democracy. We claim democracy to be our biggest strength and must validate the title of having world's largest democracy. To act accordingly and to be a part of such great institution, we must crown an able leader who is worthy of being emulated. and do our part as an individual of a democratic country here's wishing my country more success and laurels in the future thank you a very happy independence day thank you rasia next we have a multi talented student coordinator of vox populi miss ayushi sagal from bsc thank you ma'am at the stroke of the midnight hour when the world sleeps India will awake to life and freedom a moment comes which comes but rarely in history when we step out from the old to the new when an age ends when the soul of the nation long suppressed finds utterance this day reminds us all of the sacrifices that were made by our freedom fighters to set india free from the british rule Though I do not know what Indian independence struggle was like, I like to believe that our leaders feared nothing and no one. Growing up, my grandmother would tell me stories as to how things were so different before we gained independence, be it in terms of infrastructure, our own culture, and even in the ways we celebrated this day. Who would have thought that seventy-three years later, today we would be celebrating Independence Day online? As a kid, freedom to me was being able to play all day long and eat my favorite food. Freedom was going to school and thinking that I will grow up to become an astronaut. Not to forget going to school on Independence Day. There is no better feeling than watching our flag rise up high in the sky while singing our national anthem. 
And honestly, not a lot has changed over the years. I believe that independence is a state of being and can be only understood when it is taken away from us. Independence to me still means freedom. Freedom of being able to walk on the road alone without fear. Freedom to decide what I want to do with my future and freedom to speak my mind. Independence is making my own life choices and taking responsibility for those choices. It is like my life is a painting and only I have the right to pick out the colors and draw it exactly the way I want it to. Thank you and Jai Hind. That was amazing, Ayushi. Now, I'm sure that all of us are eager to sink into the depth of patriotic music that brings us all to a movement which is always emotional. Our next program, Melodies of Oneness, brings you scintillating performances by our students. First, we have Miss Arti with her melodious voice from outgoing batch of BA. A very happy Independence Day to you all. Jaha dal dal par sone ki Chidiya karti hai basera Wo bharat desh hai mera Wo bharat desh hai mera Jaha satya hinsa aur dharm ka Pag pag lag taadera Wo bharat desh hai mera वो भारत देश है मेरा जय भारती जय भारती ये धरती हो जा ऋषि मुनि जपते प्रभु नाम की माला हरियो 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 जहा हर बालक एक मोहन है और राधा एक एक बाला और राधा एक एक बाला जहा सूरज सबसे पहले आकर डाले अपना डेरा वो भारत देश है मेरा वो भारत देश है मेरा थैंक यू Wow, that was fabulous, Aarti. Next, we have Mr. Dheeraj Patala from BCOM. Andar ki swatant dhinao tso subha kangshu lo. Vishwa vidhi lo, vinut nariti lo, Trivarna patakam, ye guru chunnadi, Repa repa laadu chu, ye guru chunnadi, Vishwa vidhi lo, विनूत नीति लो त्रिवर्ण पताकम ये गुरु चुन्नदी रे परे पलाडु तू ये गुरु चुन्नदी काशायम त्यागानि कि स्वेत धनम शांति कोरकु काशायम त्यागानि कि स्वेत धनम शांति कोरकु आकु पच्च सस्य श्यामल बनी संदेशम पलुकु तुन्नवी काशायम त्यागानि कि स्वेत धनम शांति कोरकु आकु पच्च सस्य श्यामल बनी संदेशम पलुकु तुन्नवी अशोकुनी चक्रम तो चित्रिंचनु मन पिंगली वेंकैया चित्रिंचनु अशोकुनी चक्रम तो चित्रिंचनु मन पिंगली वेंकैया चित्रिंचनु विश्व विधिलो विनुत नरीतिलो त्रिवर्ण पताकम ये गुरु चुन्नदी रे परे पलाडु चु ये गुरु चुन्नदी रे परे पलाडु तो ये गुरु चुन्नदी जय हिंद थैंक यू धीरज आई एम स्टिल लॉस्ट इन दोस मेलोडीज नेक्स्ट वी हैव मिस मेघना फ्रॉम बीए डिपार्टमेंट गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन आई विश यू अ वेरी हैप्पी इंडिपेंडेंस डे जय 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 प्रिय भारत जनहित 
ಪ್ರೀದಿವ್ಯದಾತ್ರಿ ಜಯ 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 ಸತ ಸಹಸ್ರ ನರ ನಾರಿ ಹೃದಯ ನೇತ್ರಿ ಜಯ 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 ಪ್ರಿಯ ಭಾರತ ಜನಯಿತ್ರಿ ದಿವ್ಯದಾತ್ರಿ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಸ್ಯಾಮಲ ಸುಸ್ಯಾಮ ಜಲ ಚೇಲ ಜಲ ಜಯ ವಸಂತ ಕುಸುಮ ದಸ ಚಲಿತ ಲಲಿತ ಚೂರ್ಣ ಕುಂತಲ ಜಯ ಮದೀಯ ಹೃದಯ ಜಯ ಲಾಕ್ಷಾರುಣ ಪದಯುಗಳ ಜಯ ಮದೀಯ ಹೃದಯ ಜಯ ಲಾಕ್ಷಾರುಣ ಪದಯುಗಳ ಜಯ 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 ಪ್ರಿಯ ಭಾರತ ಜನಯಿ ಜಯ ದಿಶಾಂತ ಗತ ಶಕುಂತ ದಿವ್ಯ ಗಾನ ಪರಿತೋಷಣ ಜಯ ದಿಶಾಂತ ಗತ ಶಕುಂತ ದಿವ್ಯ ಗಾನ ಪರಿತೋಷ ಜಯ ಗಾಯಕ ವೈತಾಳಿಕ ಗಳ ವಿಶಾಲ ಪದ ವಿಹರಣ ಜಯ ಗಾಯಕ ವೈತಾಳಿಕ ಗಳ ವಿಶಾಲ ಪದ ವಿಹರಣ ಜಯ ಮದೀಯ ಮಧುರಗೆಯ ಚುಂಬಿತ ಸುದರ ಚರಣ ಜಯ ಮದೀಯ ಮಧುರಗೆಯ ಚುಂಬಿತ ಸುದರ ಚರಣ ಜಯ 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 ಪ್ರಿಯ ಭಾರತ ಜನಯಿ ಶ್ರೀ ದಿವ್ಯದಾತ್ರಿ ಜಯ 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 ಶತ ಸಹಸ್ರ ನರ ನಾರಿ ಹೃದಯ ನೇತ್ರಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಮೇಕ್ ನಾ ವೆರಿ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ how lovely is this day and so is the ambience and aura surrounding it soon the colors of this merriment will unfurl and will transport all of us to another world our next program heroes of freedom brings you delightful performers who portray themselves as a memorable freedom fighters first we have kana from ba ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಅಂದರಿಗೆ ಸ್ವಾತಂತ್ರ್ಯ ದಿನೋತ್ಸವ ಶುಭ ಆಕಾಂಕ್ಷೆಗಳು ಸೊ ಐ ಗೋಟ್ ಪ್ಲೇ ಮಂಚಾರಿ ನರಸಿಂಹ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ನರಸಿಂಹ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಲೆಬ್ರೇಟ್ ಫ್ರೀಡಮ್ ಫೈಟರ್ ಇನ್ ಸೌತ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ರೀಜಿನ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೀಚ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಬೈ ಹಿಮ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಯುಟೆಂಪ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಕೇಟ್ ಇನ್ ತಲ ಎತ್ತಂಡಿ ಕಣ್ಣು ತುಡಿಚುಕೊಂಡು ರೊಮ್ಮು ಬಿರುಚುಕೊಂಡು ಸಗರ್ಭಂಗಾ ಚೂಡಿ ಮೀ ಮುಂದುನ್ನದಿ ಸ್ವೇಚ್ಛ ಈ ಗಡ್ಡ ಮೀನ ತಗುಲ ಜೋಳ ಪಾಟಲೋಣೇ ವೀರಗಾದಲು ಈ ದೇಶ ಈ ದೇಶ ಜನಿಸಿನ ಹೆಸರು ಇತಿಹಾಸ ಪ್ರಪಂಚಕ್ಕೆ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ನೇರ್ಪಿಂದಿ ಮನು ಈಗ ವಿಮುಕ್ತಿ ನೇರ್ಪುದ ಬದುಕು ನೇರ್ಪಿಂದಿ ಮನು ಈಗ ಸ್ವೇಚ್ಛ ನೇರ್ಪುದ ಭರತ ಮಾತನ್ನು ಪಾಲಿಸ ವ್ಯಾಪಾರ ತನ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ತೆಂಚದು ತರಮಿಕೊಡದ ಈ ಗಡ್ಡ ಮೀರ ಪುಟ್ಟಿನ ಪ್ರತಿ ಪ್ರಾಣಾಡಿಗೆ ಲಕ್ಷ ಮೊಕ್ಕಡೆ ಸ್ವಾತಂತ್ರ್ಯ 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 ಆ ಸ್ವಾತಂತ್ರ್ಯ ಕೋಸಂ ಯೋಧಡು ಓದಿನ ಪ್ರಾಣಮೇ ಯುದ್ಧ ನಾ ಪೂರ್ತಿ ಇಕ ಯುದ್ಧ ಸ್ವೇಚ್ಛ ಕೋಸಂ ಕಾಣ ದೇಹಮೇ ದೇಶ ಇಕ ದೇಶ ಈ ಉರಿ ಕೊಯ್ಯಕ್ಕೆ ವೇಳಾಡ್ತು ಚೂಸಿ ಉತ್ಸವಾಲು ಚೆಯ್ಯಲಿ ಸಂಬಳಾಲು ಜರಪಡಿ ಇಕ್ಕಡ ಜರುಗುತ್ತಿನದಿ ನಾ ಮರಣ ಕಾದು ಜಯನಾಮ್ ಭರತ ಮಾತೆ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ಸಮರಾಣಿಗೆ ಜಯನಾಮ್ ಭಾರತ ಮಾತೆಗೆ ಜಯ ಸ್ಪ್ಲೆಂಡೆಡ್ ಕಾರ್ತಿಕ್ಯ ಸ್ಪ್ಲೆಂಡೆಡ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅಸಾಮಾ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಬಿ ಎ ಹಲೋ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಐಮ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಇಂಡಿಪೆಂಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಡೇ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ರೋಲ್ ಪ್ಲೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಆಸ್ ಶಹೀದ್ ಆಜಮ್ ಸರ್ದಾರ್ ಭಗತ್ ಸಿಂಗ್ and i am going to read out from the red pamphlet this document was primarily authored by bhagat singh himself after throwing two bombs into the corridors of central assembly hall in new delhi central assembly hall is the present day parliament 
um, Bhagat Singh and BK Dutt showered several copies of this leaflet onto the floats. Now, this was the official leaflet of Hindustan Socialist Republican Association. <clears throat> Notice, Hindustan Socialist Republican Association. It takes a loud voice to make the deaf hear with these immortal words uttered on a similar uh, occasion by Valiant, a French anarchist martyr. We do strongly justify this action of ours. Without repeating the humiliating history of the past 10 years of the working of the reforms and without mentioning the insult, insults hurled at the Indian nation through this house, the so-called Indian parliament, we want to point out while the people expressing some more crumbs of reforms from the Simon Commission and, and are ever quarreling over the distribution of the expected bones. The government is thrusting upon us new repressive measures like public safety and trade disputes bill while reserving the press sedition bill for the next session. This indiscriminate arrest of labor leaders working in open fields clearly indicate whether the wind blows. In these extremely provocative circumstances, the Hindustan Socialist Republican Association, in all its seriousness, realizing their full, full responsibility, have decided and ordered its army to do this particular action. So that a stop be put to this hum humiliating farce and to let the alien bureaucratic exploiters do what they wish. But they must be made to come before the public eve in their naked form. Let the representatives of the people return to their constituencies and prepare the masses for the coming revolution. Let the government know that while protesting against the public safety and trade disputes bill and the callous murder of Lala Lajpat Rai, on behalf of the helpless masses of uh, helpless Indian masses, we want to emphasize the lesson often repeated by history that it is easy to kill individuals, but you cannot kill ideas. Great empires have crumbled while ideas have survived. Bourbons and Caesars fell while the revolution marched ahead tri triumphantly. We are sorry to admit that we who dream of a great, uh, we who attach a great sanctity to human life, who dream of a glorious future for our nation, when man will where man will enjoy full peace and perfect liberty, have been forced to shed human blood. But sacrifice is at the altar of the great revolution that will bring freedom to all rendering the exploitation of man by man impossible is inevitable. Long live the revolution in Khilaf Zindabad, signed by Balraj, Commander-in-Chief, Hindustan Socialist Republican Association Army. Thank you. Sarfaroshi ki tamana ab hamare dil mein hai. Thank you, Bhagat Singh. Next, we have Numan from BCOM. Hello, Asalaamu Alaikum. Namaste, Sasriya Kaal, guys. I am enacting Dr. Rajendra Prasad, and this is his 1947, 14th August Constitutional Assembly speech. जिस काम में आज हम सब लगने जा रहे हैं, उसमें सभी की हमदर्दी और मेहरबानी हमारे साथ रहेगी। ये जानकर हमें भरोसा होता है कि हम इस काम को ठीक तरह से अंजाम देंगे और सबकी मदद से हम अंजाम दे सकेंगे। इस शुभ घड़ी में जब हम स्वतंत्रता के अधिकारों को और आजादी के अख्तियारों को अपने हाथों में लेने जा रहे हैं, हमारा पहला कर्तव्य यह है कि हम उनके प्रति श्रद्धांजलि अर्पित करें जिन्होंने इस दिन को लाने के लिए अपनी जिंदगी लगा दी और तरह तरह के कष्ट सहे और मुसीबतें झेली। इस ऐतिहासिक अवसर पे हम अपने राष्ट्र के निर्माता महात्मा गांधी को भी अपनी भक्ति अर्पित करते हैं, जो इस वृद्धावस्था में भी अपनी जी जान लगाकर संविधान का आरोप कर रहे हैं। हमने आज जो स्वतंत्रता पाई है, वो हमारे तक्त और त्याग और कुर्बानी का फल है। Thank you, Dr. Rajendra Prasad. Next, I would like to call upon Arshad. From BBA. Good morning, everyone. I wish you all a very happy Independence Day. I'm here to role play on the Jawaharlal Nehru. Long years ago, we made a tryst with destiny, and now the time comes when we shall redeem our pledge, not only or in full measure, but every substantially. 
at the stroke of midnight hour, when the world sleeps, India will awake to life and freedom. A movement comes, which comes but rarely in the history. When we step out from the old to the new, when an age ends, and when the soul of a nation, long suppressed, finds utterance, it is fitting that at its solemn moment, we take the pledge of dedication to the service of India and her people and to the still larger cause of humanity. That future is not one of ease or resting, but of incessant striving so that we might fulfill the pledges we have so often taken and the one we shall take today. The service of India means the service of the millions who suffer. It means the ending of poverty and ignorance and disease and inequality of opportunity. To the people of India, who representatives we are, we make appeal to join us with faith and confidence in this great adventure. This is no time for pretty and destructive criticism. No time for ill will or blaming others. We have to build the noble mansion of free India where all her children may dwell. Thank you. That was outstanding, Arshad. Moving on, dance is one of the most divine form of art and dancers are considered as messengers of gods with striking postures, movements and hypnotic formations which captivate the watchers from their hearts. To make this occasion more special, we now have a mesmerizing dance performance by our students, Ali Janardhan from BCom, Pratyusha from BA, Anita Chaudhary from BA, Prajwal from BA, and Rehan from BBA performing for all of you. Yeah. 
wow, I was completely transfixed by that performance. Independence Day is incomplete without an ode to our national anthem. I request our beloved faculty member, Miss Jotsna, to sing the national anthem. I request our audience to please stand in attention at your places. Thank you, Arpita. Jana gana mana adhinayaka jaya hai Bharata bhaagya vidhata Punjab Sindha Gujarat Maratha Dravida Kalabanga Vindhya Hima Chala Yamuna Ganga Uchala Jala Dhita Ranga Tava Shubha Name Jage Tava Shubha Ashish Mange Gahe Tava Jaya Gata Janagana Mangala Gaya Kajanahe Bharata Bhagya Vidhata Jayahe 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 Jaya 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 Jayahe Jayahe Before we end, I would like to recite a short poem. Freedom in mind, faith in words, pride in our heart, memories in our souls. Let's salute the nation on our Independence Day. Thank you for joining us. Jai Hind. <laughs>